Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. This is probably the fifth time I've actually tried to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm not very great. Actually, kind of nervous about this video because uh, I, I have to admit something um, that I'm not very proud of. And I kind of wanted to bring it out in the air. That way you guys know it. That way I can be transparent. I'm, you know, transparent. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to bring this video out because I just want to give you guys an update on some things. So, three or four weeks ago, give or take, um, I started on the journey to learn how to fight. Uh, the reason why was um, Chad <laughs> talked to Josh Abrams and thought it would be a good idea for Josh and Abrams and I to fight for charity. Uh, kind of similar to what uh, Sweetie and Chad was going to do. Um and he agreed with it. I, I didn't think it was going to happen. I just put it out there and he agreed to it. And this is me doing that. This wasn't any beef between Josh and I. I think Josh is a pretty cool guy. Uh, you know, I've talked to him a few times and, uh, you know, I like to learn more about him. I think he's a good dude. I know a lot of people have different opinions on him, but as far as I'm concerned, he hasn't done anything bad to me to make him dislike him. And, you know, I, I would consider him as a friend at this point because... You know, he just, he's fun to talk to, he makes me laugh, and uh, he's not, I mean, yeah, he does the auditor thing, uh, he does do that stuff, but I'm not going to completely hold that against him, because he, to himself, says, you know, there's good cops and bad cops. Same as I said since, you know, we started this stuff. Um, and, like I said, there was no beef between Josh and I, it was just going to be something fun for a couple people to do. Uh, we didn't have a promoter. We didn't have a venue. Um, but we knew, like, we wanted to do something fun for charity. Uh, we didn't have a time frame. At first, we kind of thought maybe we could put it in with the uh, Sweetie and Ch uh, Chad fight, but um, that wasn't able to work. So one of the things I was thinking, and I would say if it was to happen, it'd probably be in the spring or the summer of uh, next year, 2023, which that's a long time. That's a long time for... Uh, a lot of things to happen between now and then. Now, the bad thing about this is um, with the revelations that happened with uh, Chad and uh, Sweetie's fight, um, the promoter Nightmare Productions, and I, you know, I don't know if you're like this or not, but so imagine being a production company and you know you put a lot on the line with this. This is going to be highly publicized. Um, you sold tickets. You you know. And they stop it. And it wasn't Chad that stopped it. Chad ultimately was the one that put it together. He was the one that got the ball rolling. And Sweetie, the only thing he did was ran his mouth the whole time. And, you know, he didn't even know what he was going to do. He got pressured into signing this thing. We knew he was going to not do this. We knew this from the beginning. But I'm not here to talk about that because there's a video I did a few days ago that kind of gives you a good idea how I feel about it, and I don't want to make the whole video about that. But I can imagine as a production company that did all that, and they see somebody else come to them and be like, oh, you're two YouTubers that want to do this for charity. Uh, we don't think so. It's not going to happen because the last time we did this, it didn't work out. Um, so... We were going to have to find somebody else. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it. Maybe it's something we have to put on ourselves. Um, I don't know how that shit works. Um, and, you know, if we do it, maybe it'll be in the spring or the summer. Um, that gives us plenty of time to actually figure things out, what we're going to do, and kind of go from there. Um, which there's a lot. There's a whole lot. Um, you know, there are some promoters in the area um, that may do this. We don't know yet. Um, but, you know, I would like to. What what would be really cool is if, um, you know, we could find other people in the community or YouTubers or something like that, get together and make this one big thing with, like, like a creator clash, kind of similar to what you've seen on YouTube uh, with all the bigger channels. They did this thing called the creator clash. You had a bunch of... YouTubers that's probably never been into a fight before get together, they train, and they fight uh, for charity mainly and clout. And that's ultimately, I mean, if you win, that's good for you. If you lose, it's good for you. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters to me. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I can beat Josh. 
I'm not that kind of person. I can't say for sure because Josh has just as equally good as a chance of beating me as I do him. Actually, Josh could probably hit and hurt me more at this moment because I've never in my life been into a fight. Yeah, I've been hit in the face because of bullying and school, but I've never been into a fist fight. I've never had to. Um, you know, I've never been really a violent person. Um, and, you know, like he's he's been through it. He's been he said himself he's been through some fights. So, um, you know, he's got more experience on me. But I want to tell you, I'm not going to lie. Uh, ever since Chad um, got me started with this, I want to tell you, um, you know, Chad's a good guy. Chad's awesome. Uh, you know, I know there's some people that don't like cops. Um, you know, prior to me meeting Chad um, and, you know, there's a few other policemen that I've met and I liked. But uh, Chad's actually made me completely change the way I see police officers. Um you know, you, you see a lot of bad things in the news, a lot of bad things in the media, YouTube, um, that all police are bad, which they're not. Um, they're not. Um, you shouldn't be afraid to talk to a cop. Even if you're listening to Sweetie, he tells you, don't talk to cops. He's fucking stupid. Just, if you see a cop and they have a conversation with you, have a conversation. It's just another human being with a badge. Um, they're just trying to make a paycheck. Sure, sure, there are some bad cops, but there's also bad everything else. I made a, a comparison the other day. If I was an IT guy and I fucked up and there's 10 other IT guys, does that make all 10 of those IT guys bad because of my one fuck up? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just means you're human. Um, and yes, yeah, sometimes when you are put in a position of power, some people abuse that. Uh, politicians do it all the time. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the workplace. You're going to run into people that's power hungry and they're not going to be nice to you. It's just the way it is. This is, this is human nature at its finest. Um, but you know, I, you know, I talked to Chad and he's actually, um, you know, he's a really cool dude. Uh, and I feel bad for him because he put his heart and, you know, his body on the line for this. Um, only for Sweetie to back out and say that Chad's the coward. So it is what it is. We knew how that was going to happen from the beginning, but I'm not going to continue talking about that. So I started this journey um, at 320 pounds, give or take. Um, you know, I was going to the gym almost every day. Uh, gym, pool, gym, pool, between the YMCA and Planet Fitness. Um, you know, doing cardio, strength, uh, swimming, mitts. And, you know, I got on my Oculus Rift, downloaded a VR game that teaches you some of the boxing stuff. We just invested in a heavy bag for our new home, which, by the way, we're getting ready to get a new home, Miss Fitz and I. Uh, we are, we have some plans for the wedding. Um, we might be getting married sooner than uh, originally planned. So keep an eye on it. We'll keep you guys um, posted on that. But for the last week and a half, almost two weeks, I'm going to tell you, I've slacked off. Um, I've lost weight, though. I have, I, you know, I went from 320 to 311 as of yesterday morning, um, which is awesome, which is great. It's nine pounds gone. Um, but, you know, I said I was going to do this keto diet, and I kind of, Failed that. Um, I guess I kind of got really disappointed and tied up in this fight thing that I just kind of didn't care at this point. And I shouldn't be like that because just because their fight's over doesn't mean Josh and I, you know, we can't have ours. And, you know, I want to continue doing this. And, you know, I'm going to make a promise that I want to get back into this. And I know I'm human. I'm going to fail. You know, people told me from the beginning that I'm going to fail. Um, I've never been good at dieting. I've never been good at exercising. Um, but I need to. I need to. I need to. Not only for a fight, but I need to for my own well-being. Something I should do to help me not die soon. Like, I don't want to die sooner. I do want to watch what I put in my mouth. Um, you know, I'm starting to find out there's foods I can't eat anymore. I just, my body's changing and there's some foods I just can't eat as much as I used to. Um, my stomach's shrinking, which is great because I don't eat nearly as much as I did. Uh, that is, I drink a lot though, not, not alcohol. Um, 
ma- mainly like uh, body armors and stuff like that. But my big downfall has always been sweets. So, but I uh, want to promise you guys that I am going to get back into this. Uh, hopefully this week, um, you know, a new day we can start again. Uh, Miss Bits and I. Um, hopefully Chad, um, if he, if he still fills into it and if he wants to continue training with me, um, I, that would be amazing. Um, but I know this, like I said, this is, this probably didn't, um, help Chad either, uh, mentally because, you know, let's face it, he, he put a lot of work into this, um, only for it to get thrown into his face. It's not fair, not fair at all. And, you know, I can talk about this, you know, all day. And just keep going back, and it's just going to piss me off. Um, but I'd understand if you know he didn't have the heart to do it. But I that but I need to do this. I really do. I need to. Um, you know, I was talking to uh, Miss Bits. You know, we're, we're getting ready to get a new place. We're getting married soon. Um, you know, I posted. I've been posting stuff like our wedding registry and our wish list and stuff like that. Uh, on the community page uh we've had people ask about that and you know i don't expect you guys to buy stuff i i don't i put it out there if you guys want to you can just like in the about section there's links to cash apps and all that stuff paypal donations again never feel like you have to do that especially if i'm streaming and you you know if you do end up giving super chats that's cool if not that's cool too you're never i'm not never want to tell you to have to do that um, but you know, it's always nice to have that extra cushion, but you know, it's fun to see, you know, watch the YouTube channel kind of slow down a little bit, uh, until the other day. Then we got an influx of new followers, uh, after we made the video about turtle boy and, um, the newest video about sweetie. Um, I am going to start streaming. I keep on, keep on saying I'm going to stream more, uh, but I just, so much has been going on. Lately, and I've only been able to put in maybe two or three videos a week, including uh, shorts and, you know, some stuff like when I talk about the gaming stuff or the keto stuff, you know, a lot of that stuff doesn't get a lot of views. Uh, main main bread and butters whenever I talk about um, some of the shitheads on YouTube, uh, which I, you know, I, I like to call these people out. I do. I do. Um you know, I, I had somebody telling me that I shouldn't have called Turtle Boy out, but there was a reason for that. Reason for that, and they, they kept on missing the point. You know, I guess the guy that threatened to kill himself, he was a drug dealer, and he got put in prison or something like that for fentanyl cells. And um, and you know, I said, you know what? I don't care about the context, the way that was used. What I was worried about, the one thing that I hated was the fact that. And this conversation could have ended right there. As soon as the guy said, I was going to kill myself, Turtle Boy could have been like, okay, we're done with this interview. Let's not push it any further. Uh, even if it was a joke, a sick out-of-season joke, um, Turtle Boy could have been like, no, we're not doing this. We're not, we're not going this. You know, any YouTuber should be like that. But instead, what happened was he used it as a show by saying a lot of people are watching. You're not going to do it. Go ahead and do it. You don't have the guts. That's what I have a problem with. I had that's I don't care about you know Turtle Boy as a person. I don't care about the other guy as a person. All I care about is the way things were happening. And you know, a lot of people is not seeing that point, what I'm trying to make. Um, you know, I'm not trying to purposely uh cause problems, but you guys know me. I I'm a pretty big advocate for mental health. Uh, always have been, always have been. You know, I talk about it quite a bit, and that's what got me riled up was seeing something like that happen. I, you know, even if you're my worst enemy, if you did the most heinous thing in the world, and you pleaded, say you're going to kill yourself, even if it was a joke, you know, I would have stopped the conversation. I'd be like, no, we're we're done, we're done. Doesn't look good you on you as a channel or as a person. Just makes you look really bad, and that's why it happened. Turtle Boy made himself look incredibly bad, even though that's an old video. Um, you know, things when things come back up, I'm just going to tell you. Watch what you put on YouTube. Watch what you put on the internet, because shit will come back to haunt you, and it's just the way it is. But as things go, I just want to say I thank you guys for watching this video. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be trucking on, I promise. 
Um, I'm not going to be, I, I got to get this, I got to lose this weight. I've got to get healthy. And, you know, I got to do this fight thing. This is going to be fun for both of us. Uh, Josh, I hope you're still into this, man. Um, maybe we can have fun with this. Like I said, this is a beef between Josh and I. This is, uh, to me, this is just two guys having fun, doing something for charity. But anyways, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you soon.